So this is a simple guide how to count the uh, the final drive ratio of the differential. We have uh, a a uh, E30 differential that is 168 millimeters, and usually you just read the the plate. It's bolted right here on the bigger model. It's also somewhere around here, but. Uh, Usually it gets broken or somebody removes it and replaces it with just a washer or you just don't believe the fucking plate. Maybe it's from some other differential, who, who would know? So it's a nice way always to check the, the ratio by hand and you can do so by using a marker, a permanent marker, you just have to mark it around here or whatever whatever you want just so you have the alignment checked correctly and the the another one the another, another marking would be made here on the input shaft like this you can probably use a better marker i this doesn't work anymore so fuck it you check it here, you check it here, you probably, you will be uh, turning this input shaft, it will be spinning. Simply the final drive ratio is the, the amount, the, the times that this input shaft spins while the output shaft makes one full revolution. So it is a reduction gear and you can just spin this. I would probably say that this is around 410, 425, so we can check this out right now. So this is aligned here, it's aligned here, and we'll start start spinning this until this one makes one full revolution, and uh, we will count the spins, uh, the the circles we make on this one. One, two. Three, four, we have made four revolutions and this is almost at the end and we will make, we'll make a alignment here so it is this much and you can see it's this much so it could be 4.10 or 4.27 and if it was 4.27 it would be a one quarter of approximately one quarter of a revolution so it would be around here so it this differential is a ratio is uh, 4.10 But if you are prone to overcomplicating a simple task, I like I usually do, uh, I love that just doing that, you can print out these simple things that could help you measure the final drive ratio. So the, there are three parts and this is the dial. You have this part will will I will uh, upload a modified version because it is a bit short. So this is prototype, and I will show you how it works. You just need to tighten this here. The blank flange goes here. You can see the the marking that makes one circle marking so it goes like that and 
the dial goes here. There are some fitment issues, but it will be okay. So you adjust the start of the flange, the output flange here, and uh, you spin. You spin the the dial at, until it reaches its marker. So we'll be turning this. It's one circle, two circles. three circles and four circles it's showing four circles and and this is the end result you can see it aligns right about here and you can see alignment made here so that's about it it is a simple task made rather complicated You can use that, this dial to check for, I don't know, for low ratios, high ratios, whatever. It will show you around. You can get 4.27, It's it will be around here. Or 3.91, it would be around here. So we just have to we just have to count the circles and when where it stops it is the final drive ratio. I hope this was educational and uh, I will upload these models shortly and you can download them on my Thingiverse site. It's a free download so you can make this uh, complicated device just to do a simple task okay this will be it it also fun uh, works on uh, larger housing so you can do uh, a 188 housing or maybe other bmws like e28 or e24 e32 maybe I don't know, you should try it and uh, I'll probably make another di another one for uh, E36, that's a ver very popular, popular model, so I will upload a fixed version that doesn't have this, this gap around here. I have mistakenly made it shorter and this is really an embarrassment, it doesn't fit right of the printer. I hate when prototypes don't fit at the first time. It's a fucking disaster. This one fits nicely. So it's it's like 30% successful. Yeah, I like that odds for prototypes. It would probably be better next time. Fuck it. I don't know. So you can download it if you want, or you just, or you can just use this fucking thing. 
Okay. See you on the next video. Hopefully it would be a 100% success. What you gotta do? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, you gotta live with it.